if you begin by uh, kind of drawing in what you have, angle DAC. So if we connect D to A and then to C, we get this angle measure of 20 degrees. And then you also have the relationship that EB is given as 18 inches. Okay, so when you're looking at this uh, material, you can set up to solve for your arc length. Your arc length is the distance along this curved path between C and D. And so we can take the arc length formula. S is equal to some fraction, m over 360, of the circle's circumference. And which circumference formula should we use here based on the information provided? EB is the radius. So let's use 2 pi r for this. So you get the formula m over 360 times 2 pi r. And then you can just substitute in the known value. So if we know that angle A is 20 degrees, what does that mean the arc measure CD has to be equal? The inscribed angle is one half the intercepted arc, or the intercepted arc is twice the inscribed angle. So that'll be 40 over 360. That gives us the portion of the circle that we're dealing with. And then 2 pi r is given as 18. And so when you go to uh, simplify this, the zeros cancel the factors of 10. 4 goes into 36 9 times. 9 goes into nine, or 18 twice. 2 times 2 gives you 4 pi. The units were inches. And so you get your answer of 4 pi in this, as, as far as the exact answer goes. All right, questions on that? Again, it's pretty straightforward uh, application of arc length. Karen? Um, so the what? So one of the relationships for uh, this was anytime the uh, vertex lies on the circle for an inscribed angle, it's going to be one half the intercepted arc. So that means if we're looking to find the intercepted arc, we're going to go the reverse process. So if we know that this is half of the measure of CD, that means this would have to be 40. Yep, Austin. I just simplified. So 40 went into 360 nine times, and then 9 went into 18 twice. Oh, yeah. I was just canceling factors. Yeah. All right, I want you to try this second example. All right, let's take a look at these. The easiest one is probably AEF, right? Because that one, there's no calculations involved other than just a simple mental calculation. and to find angle AEF, which is the inscribed angle. What is it that we're going to have to do to, with that intercepted arc? Cut half. half. So half of 64 is? Okay, so the measure of angle AEF is 32. It's just half of the intercepted arc. Okay, now let's go ahead and find angle B. So here's angle B. When you're looking at angle B, the vertex lies outside the circle. Okay. So you're going to take the two intercepted arcs. The, those intercepted arcs are the arcs that are contained in the interior of our angle. And we're going to take half the difference of them. So 64 minus, or so measure of angle B, is going to equal 1 half the difference of 64 minus 20. So half of 44 gives you the angle measure of 22 degrees. Okay. The final example is angle CDE, so this angle right here. When you're finding an angle whose vertex lies inside the circle or in the interior of a circle, just extend the lines through because you're going to be dealing with the vertical angle as well. And so when you look for the intercepted arcs here, it's the same two intercepted arcs. But this time, when you're finding an angle with a vertex inside the circle, it's not half the difference, but it's half the sum. So if we take 64 and add 20 to that, we're taking 1 half of 84. Half of 84 is your answer, 42. Okay, so that would be your set of answers for this particular information.